bitch, I'm the sexiest killer you know. This is a review that I've been made to do for quite a while because, well, not a lot of people really know this song really came out. Yeah, this is a record that completely came and went, at least in the minds of most people, apparently. Like, there's only been two videos discussing this thing, and I wasn't even aware of the fact that this record even came out until I saw it on Pandora one day. On top of that, I never really heard of Oh The Horror prior to this, but seeing that it was a collab album with one of my favorite juggle artists, Blazy Dead Homie, it got me interested. So I ordered it from the M&E website and gave it a couple of listens. And what do I have to say about this album? Well... All I have to say is that this motherfucking goddamn piece of shit album is fine. Like, it's fine. It is an adequate collection of musical compositions. But before we get into the actual music, I think I should start by talking about Oh The Horror. Oh The Horror is a band signed to m &E that has a unique sound by combining the dark and violent lyrics of horrorcore with the aggressiveness and guitar tones of metalcore. So basically, this entire album is just an attempt to, you know, combine this band's sound with the seductive-ass rhymes of Blazy Dead Homie. As I implied earlier, they did rather well here. In fact, one of the positives of this album is that Blaze absolutely kills it. I love how he experiments with different flows, especially on songs like Listen Up and Can't Fuck With Us. I also I also like the aggression of the metalcore sections on this album, and I specifically say metalcore sections because, yeah, the sum kind of switches from loud, rough metal instrumentation to aggressive trap beats throughout this record, and in most cases it works, but for one section of the song Chop Shop, it's a little awkward. Like, during one of Blaze's verses, the song changes to this instrumental that doesn't really fit his voice all that well. And it's probably why I consider Chop Shop to be my least favorite track on the album, but overall though, I do think the instrumentation is pretty good. Though, of course, there are some problems with this album. The first thing I want to address is... Well, the guy from Oh The Horror that does the rapping is kinda awkward in places. Like, he isn't bad, don't get me wrong, like, he's not the worst that I've ever heard, but he's not exactly the best. In fact, probably my least favorite line off this album is on the song Can't Fuck With Us, which reads... Yeah, no fucking that. And then there's probably the biggest problem on this record. It really lacks the memorability factor of previous Blaze albums. Even though I complimented Blaze's performance on this album, and I still stand by the opinion that he's pretty clearly the best part of this record, none of his performances can really make it as memorable as, like, One Less G in the Hood, his self-titled EP, and my personal favorite Blaze album, Gang Rags. Like, if you were to play me this album, I wouldn't really mind it, but at the same time, I wouldn't really go out of my way to, you know, pay attention to it. It is what it is, and it's pretty clear that these guys liked working together on this album, but again, it's not all that memorable. Overall, though, I give this album a 6 out of 10. It's definitely not the worst thing ever, nor is it the best thing ever. It just kind of exists, and I can kind of see why it wasn't that popular. Anyways, this has been Slayer, signing out.